Hey y'all, let's talk real quick about Love & Hip Hop Miami because, you know, they had a little something going on. Just a little bit. They gave us a taste, okay? Let's start off with mm, Flo. Now, why does Flo look dark skin with her makeup off and light skin with her makeup on? But that's neither here nor there. That's besides the point. So, Flo don't got nothing going on. That's why she relies heavily on her sister being loose in the caboose, okay? Fast and free because Flo don't really got nothing going on, okay? So, Flo, she come over to the shop. What is it? Hair salon, nail salon. Ain't nobody in there. So, they just in there chilling. And she, she was talking about Fabo. Gael kept asking all these questions. And Shay like, well, do you want him? Girl, probably. I mean, who don't Gael want? I mean, Gael, Gael for the streets, honey. She want everybody. Gael did say in her confessional that Fable was hot. And I said, is he? Girl. Okay. But she's like, but he can't be faithful. Well, you would know, wouldn't you? You'd love a good old unfaithful man. But anyway, <laughs> Shay was like, you know what? I'm dealing with so much. And, um... Flo was like, you should see see the lady, the, the mamba, the mamando. I'm sorry if I said it wrong. I'm going to say the lady, okay? And Shay said she was raised in the Baptist church. So I'm surprised she's darkening those doors. Now, I don't know. She put a voodoo on Fabo, but it looked like in real life, today's date, her and Fabo back together. She don't care about her mama, her brother, a fiance. She ain't going to let no little things like that get in the way, child. She going to stick with her man, whether he give her a ring or or not. Speaking of, uh, I don't know what I was about to say, but speaking of Flo, <laughs> Gael said she got a bone to pick with Flo's fake ex-girlfriend, Claudia, because, you know, she exposed that she was broken, all that. So Flo go to see Claudia, who was rehearsing for what I don't know. Like, just because you're on Love & Hip Hop does not mean that you have to pretend like you're doing music. Like, you were dating the artist. You don't got to act like you about to come out with a song, too. Like, even a guy I was like, you just trying to be like Flo. Girl, I think you trying to be like Flo, too. Sleep on everybody and their mama. That once, once, guy, once Flo get her hands on them, guy y'all got to get a taste, too. But I can't even say that because Claudia let us know that uh, guy y'all actually had her first. They had a one-night stand. So they get to arguing about Flo. Next thing you know, uh, Claudia, like, you know, you want me. You want this. And Gaia can't put up a fight, honey. It don't take much to get her. So she like, oh, I, no, yes, no, but I do. No, I don't. Yes, I do. Next thing you know, she rubbing all over her booty and they kiss. Gaia, do you need to check that bag? C girl, bring back the days of shame. I miss when people used to have shame. They used to do this type of stuff behind closed doors. Like, y'all mama don't care, n nothing. Ooh, we. She got a, she got kids too that's grown enough to see this. Like, ew. <sighs> anyway, enough of them. So our girl Zoe Brinks, she that guy that she was t talking to, the producer with the top hat. I don't forgot his name, child, but his claim to fame is working with the City Girls, I guess. She didn't like what he had to say. She been feeling self-conscious. She going to the gym because people just tearing her down. So she do a video shoot. She kicked Sukihana off the track. Do we need Sukihana on the track? Does Sukihana have music out? Oh, let me know in the comments because I don't know. But anyway, so he come back over there with his hat and his glasses. And she was like, you know, the way your delivery, the way you said what you said, I didn't really like that. And he, like, got smart with her again. <laughs> and she was just like, okay, so if skinny girls with BBLs talk about, you know, all the things and being freaky and all that, it, it, that's fine. But when I talk about love and light and uplifting myself, it's a problem. Yeah, girl, pretty much. That's, that's what he said. So she kicked him out of there again. That's pretty much all we had. Who else do we have? Ooh, child. This is what happened when I forget to take notes, y'all. Normally, I take notes... It just wasn't really worth me pulling out the pen in the pad. I'm going to just be for real. Oh, child, how could I forget? I almost forgot about Amada and her fro, her wig fro. Her and her wig fro, remember we left off last week with this big surprise of who she's supposed to be working with. I wish in real life they would wait until it's like shown on the show because we already saw she had a song with Safari. So while they in the studio not dropping no beats, 
Safari's talking about they how he loved her and they talking about how they got these films for each other and they so glad they can make up and be friends and work together. And Safari is wrong knowing he got that little secret that he's messing with her on screen friend Eliza. No one amount of don't know. He's shysty and shady. But apparently, everybody else know what's going on but Amada. Bobby Lights meets with Estelita. I can't hardly ever remember her. Like, I don't know why. Even on Family Reunion, like, she just was not that memorable. Like, she must have been on Hollywood when I had stopped watching. Or, I don't know, whatever she was on. Miami. Mm. But she said her sugar daddy passed away. and He was taking care of her for 16 years. And I said, dang. Where did you find him at? What website? <laughs> Where did you meet him at? Was it at the club? Where was it at? She said he set her up though. Like he set her up. She good. She got businesses. She good to go, honey. But besides that, she was like, look, Amanda dropped me like a bad habit. She kicked me to the curb. She cut me off right after family reunion. And you know, that's what I'm called for Amanda. She gonna cut you off. She gonna ghost you with no explanation. She's going to stop talking to you. She don't know how to be a friend, period. But uh, Bobby mentioned her, you know, messing with Safari and the whole Eliza thing. And she was like, look, I had him first. I could have told her to leave him alone. Actually, Nicki Minaj had him first. But I know Nicki hate when somebody brings them to being a couple up because Safari is embarrassing, honey. Oh, my gosh. It's like if you want to be a part of Love and Hip Hop Miami, it's like you got to sleep with Safari to, to, to be a part of the cast or something. Like, it's crazy. He done slept with Eric. The fact that Eric Amina married this man. Ew. So we get to Brooke and Marcus pajama party. Even Brooke and Marcus know that Eliza and uh, Safari was sleeping together. <laughs> so everybody know but Amada at this point. Uh, they play a little messy game. And it's like talking about who don't like who and all that. And Brooke's talking about she don't want nobody fighting at her house. Well, if you don't want to buy fighting at your house, why would you play a messy game? <laughs> like, help me to understand. Make it make sense. But after they get done with a little game, um, Bobby pulls Brooke and he like, look, you know, there's something going on. It's two people just sleeping together. And she was like, do you know what I know? Amada and Eliza, like they both, you know, they both hopping on the same, mm, doing a full split. Oh my goodness. And yeah, so now it's getting around. Estelita and Amada talk, and Estelita blames Shay for being fake. And I'm like, what did Shay say? So I guess Shay gonna have beef again, this time with Estelita. Estelita gotta find a reason to be there, because otherwise, why is she here? So they having fun. Ray J trying to convince Marcus to get on this. Um, He has like a new intimacy line, selling the SEX toys along with Safari. <laughs> And Marcus is not trying to do it. But Ray J is really trying to convince him. And I'm like, what is this? And what's going on again today's day with Princess and Ray J saying they getting divorced? We are tired. Are y'all doing this uh, to make up another storyline? Because this one's stale. It's old. Y'all ran this to the ground, okay? But next thing you know, Amanda decides to tell everybody that she and Safari are making music together. And Bobby was like, girl, you are so stupid. You are dumb. Like, dumb. And she's like, well, just because we're not together doesn't mean we can't be friends. And it's like, girl, don't be trying to claim him as your ex when you already said the relationship was fake. Please stop. But he like, no, you're dumb because he's sleeping with Eliza. And Eliza like, ooh, you B-I-T. Ooh, why would you expose my business? Well, girl, we've been waiting on you to tell her and you ain't told her yet. So Eliza was like, well, you weren't even talking to me. How was I supposed to tell you? And you the one that said the relationship was fake. I don't care if you thought it was, girl. You still don't mess with somebody that I used to mess with. Like, it's girl code. Mm. Unless it really was fake. But even then, still, no. Come on now, no. And that's why we only know your future's baby mama. And now this, attaching yourself to Safari. Like, girl, you too old to be making these kind of decisions. But Amada's pissed. Bobby and Eliza going back and forth, throwing drinks on each other, yelling at each other. You knew Bobby was going to tell. He can't hold water. And that's where it ends. So <laughs> we'll find out what happens on next week. And next week is given extra stage. It's given soap opera with Safari calling Eliza Amada. Like, y'all could have rehearsed that a little bit better, made it a little more realistic. But we'll get there next week. Y'all let me know what y'all thought about this episode down in the comments. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.